Hello, Richard from BudgetGuitars.com here, and today I'm going to go over my computer-controlled live show. I use a 2018 MacBook Pro in my live show, and it provides my keyboard sounds, my backing tracks, automates my DMX lighting, sends patch changes to my keyboard and to my HX stomp, and we're going to go through it. So this is a scaled-down version of what some huge touring bands use. My setup is also extremely common in the praise and worship market. Modern churches have live bands with elaborate productions, and they're using the same concepts and equipment that I am, for the most part. Right now, you're looking at my laptop screen, and to the right, you can see my HX Stomp. This area in red on the left-hand side is a program called MainStage. It's the most popular keyboard software on the planet. It comes with tons of keyboard sounds and outboard gear, and you can also use any software synth with it. The area on the right of the screen is a program called Ableton Live Intro. This is the budget version of Ableton Live, and it sells for around $99. Ableton Live is sort of like the most popular software on the planet for running live shows. In my Ableton session, I've got four rows, or tracks, Let's go through them. The first row is the backing track. So this is a stereo mix of a song with almost everything removed except the drums and bass. Ableton is set to the tempo of the song, which comes in handy for the next three tracks. The second row is for the HX Stomp, which is the pedal where I get all my guitar sounds. So I can program Ableton to send patch changes to the Stomp for each separate section of the song. That means I can just play guitar and not worry about switching guitar sounds with my feet while I'm also trying to sing and play. The third row sends patch changes to main stage. If I want to also send patch changes to my actual keyboard, I can add another row. Anything that uses MIDI can be controlled in time with the music. Finally, the fourth row sends program changes to my DMX lights. I have a special box called the DMXs, which connects my computer to the lights. DMXs comes with software which can convert MIDI to DMX commands. So essentially, I can pre-program the lights for every single song, and they'll change automatically in time with the music. Okay, I'm going to start my backing track for the song Serious by Alan Parsons Project. Pay attention to the keyboard patch on main stage on the left and the HX stomp patch on the right. Ableton sends patch changes to both when the sound starts, and you can also see the light in the background change. Imagine me trying to sing and play keyboards while also changing keyboard patches, changing guitar patches, and running my light show all at the same time. Ableton allows me to automate everything so I can focus on playing and singing, and I need all the focus I can get. Now let's check out what this actually looks and sounds like.
Here's a picture of my setup. Here's where I mentioned that I've included some Amazon affiliated links to some of my gear in the comments section. If anyone purchases an item through Amazon using one of those links, Amazon sends me a little bit of cash and that helps support the channel. So let's start with the mixer. I have a 12 channel Yamaha MG12XU mixer, which might seem like overkill since I'm only currently using three channels, but it has two things I need. It's got an AUX send, so I can send some signal to the subwoofer from the guitar channel and from the backing tracks channel, but not the vocal channel. The other thing is that it has a group out and a stereo out. So this allows me to control the volume in my in-ear monitors without impacting what's coming out of the PA. This mixer also has built-in compression and reverb. I don't currently use them, but if my Apollo Solo dies in the show, I can plug my mic straight into the mixing board. I use four stereo channels, one for my HX Stomp, one for my computer, one for my Apollo Solo, which I use for my vocal chain, and a fourth channel, which is for whatever keyboard I'm playing. I actually don't have that hooked up right now. But if I lose my computer, my Apollo, and my HX Stomp, I can still do a gig with just my mixer and my keyboard. Best of all, it has sliders. So if I need the guitar or the vocals louder, I can easily reach over and adjust them. Moving on, my EVND767A microphone goes into my Apollo Solo. In the Solo, I have a preamp with a boost to 8K an 1176 limiter doing compression, a plate reverb, and a delay which I can turn on if I want to, but I almost never do. These are the same studio quality effects used by the pros and they sound really great through the PA. This box does need to be plugged into my computer for power, but all the processing is coming from the box itself. Next to the solo is my HX Stomp, which has about 30 different pre-programmed guitar sounds that I use throughout the gig. I like to send a little bit of the HX Stomp to the subwoofer to give it that low end that you're usually missing with a guitar and a PA. Under the two boxes, that big long black box is a Tascam US 16x8. I use it because it provides audio out of the computer and MIDI in and out from the computer. Eventually, I'm going to replace that with a much smaller box, but it's what I have right now. To the right is my DMXSYS box by Entech. I am unaware of any other box that converts MIDI to DMX commands for only around $300. That might sound like a lot, but it's less than half the price of anything else I looked at when I bought it. This is a pretty specialized product. If you can find something as good, that is less money, let me know. You could easily manage lights for an entire band with just a laptop and just this little blue box. It's amazing. The computer is a 2018 MacBook Pro with 16 gig of RAM and a six core i7 CPU. It was screaming fast in 2018. These days, the new laptops are two to four times faster, but this thing is still plenty fast enough to do everything I need. As I mentioned before, I'm running Apple Main Stage and Ableton Live Intro on it. And finally, my in-ear monitors are Shure SE215s. Professional in-ear monitors for the big stars are custom made and they cost four figures. These cost only $99 and they sound surprisingly good for the money. I don't always need to use them. In some gigs, I can hear the PA just fine, but if the PA speakers are too far away from me and too loud, I'll run my in-ears right off the mixing board and control the volume with the group output slider. I'd love to have some custom in-ear monitors made, but I don't really have the budget for that. And these work fine. I highly recommend them. I just went over a lot of information, and this is the last video in this series on solo performing for now. I don't think there's enough interest on this channel to go through how to set up all this stuff step by step, but you can find those videos on other channels. 
Um, if you're having a hard time finding the information, email me at richard at budgetguitarist.com and I'll send you some of the links that I use to learn how to do this stuff. This video was an overview. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you want to. And I will see you again next Friday at 5.